Yo, I don't know why, but the water and everything, give, like how Kuna is approaching the song with the, his outfit, really reminds me almost like of a Jay Park type of uh, music video. But obviously, this guy is super smooth. Okay, we're getting all sexy. Body rolls? Yo. That was impressive. That was really impressive. Okay. Okay. Still a little bit dangerous. I love the idea of the water. It's a little da- Oh, that little- was very cheeky. Yo, Kun's stage presence absolutely killing it, man. Oh, Kun, don't you get? You can't say it like that, man. That's too. That's a bit too like sensual, man. Daijaho, it's Tony. Hello, everyone. It's Tony. So I'm back again with you guys today with another Youth with You reaction. So this one being the uh, collab for Kun featuring his group uh, under the song Lover. Again, Kun also. One of the big reasons why I'm watching this youth with you. At first, I came for Lisa, but then I honestly stayed for him. Absolutely killer, killer idol from China, and just overall love his music. He is coming out with um, a new album, I believe, or EP. So I'm feel free. I'm excited for that, and I will be reacting to that. But yeah, guys, let's get into it. Lover featuring Kun's group. Let's get into it. Jinbi, ready? She Chuck. Oh, baby mon. Okay, wait. Who's in it? Oh, baby monsters in it. Okay, so she's in this his group. All right, the floral shirt. I like it. I like the style. Went back to the black hair. Oh. A love story. Love story. Okay. I'm really glad. Okay, so right, I haven't kept up to date with the series. So seeing Kiki in this, really good because I really do enjoy having Kiki still in the competition. I think that she could go on to do join the group. I don't know if she's gone yet. I've I've been seeing mixed videos, so I'm not sure. Yo, I don't know why, but the water and everything, give, like how Kuna is approaching the song with the, his outfit, really reminds me almost like of a Jay Park type of uh, music video. But obviously, this guy is super smooth. Okay. Okay. Okay, we're getting all sexy. Body rolls? Okay. Yo. That was impressive. That was really impressive. So I like how some of the trainees actually get like kind of singing in between the two the two uh, mentors. Obviously, this is only possible because Kun is actually there in person and he's not having to be quarantined outside. So it's a bit easier for them to have this like dynamic. But really enjoy the fact that he's actually at least able to do like the dynamic between his group. <laughs> I think like I think her also in particular she might she might go on to do the whole like make it into the group also I think that she's gained a lot of popularity also let's go okay cool Okay. Okay. Still a little bit dangerous. Wow, this group is full of aesthetics. Like visuals, holy cow. I love the idea of the water. 
It's a little Oh, that little was very cheeky. Very, very cheeky. Alright. She kind of looks a bit like a Taeyang. Like. Yo, Kun's stage presence absolutely killing it, man. Usually, I only know him for like young, but I've really also really only know him for kind of like his heavier hitting songs. So it's really cool to see him take a step back and like do a bit more of a slower pace, more emotional song. And also with these particular set of girls, I've seen them only recently for like their more like dynamic and like poppy, poppy in your face, like hard energy type of song. So to see them do a little slower song, really neat, really nice. This is a really like sensual song. Really nice, really nice. Yo, man, I love the black outfits too. Oh, cool! Don't you get? You can't say it like that, man. That's too. That's a bit too like sensual, man. So that was Lover by Kun Kai's group, uh, Kun Shukun's, Kai Shukun's group. I think they really, really killed it. Actually, honestly, compared to Lisa's group, um, which I have react to if you want to go check it out on the channel, I actually maybe prefer this over the other one because I feel like there was a bit more kind of like interaction between the mentor and the trainees obviously though Lisa couldn't because she was overseas in Korea but I think that just overall Lisa's version had a lot more dance specific focus on it whereas this one has quite a more of the emphasis being on the vocals of the trainees and I think that that was kind of maybe more of the intent of this project to show really more of the vocals and like how they can collaborate between uh two different artist stylings because sure you sing with this group of girls all the time but now you have somebody brand new that you haven't worked with before and it's gonna it's like really puts them to test as to how they can do that and i really enjoyed this slower beat from just not only the trainees but also kun in general really sensual really did a great job with the dancing i really think that they all killed it now main little gripe or main little complaint i would say would be that kun does take up a lot of the stage presence in this and a lot of the singing so it would have been nice to get a little bit more of the actual trainees because that they are really the focus of this so main little gripe with it but overall absolutely enjoyed it. loved the song loved their performance really think they killed it super excited to see who comes out of youth with you as a group especially since we have kiki and baby monster together on this group i'm wondering if they will both make it and then in terms of kun really excited for his upcoming project that he kind of did spoilers for on ig so yeah guys stay tuned for all of that and uh, as usual if you have any comments or requests or just want to talk leave feel free to leave it in the comment section below and i'll get to it as soon as possible but until next time guys annyeonghaseyo goodbye